Hi, my name is Irene Van Der. I'm from Durban, South Africa. Three words that would um, summarize my life before Alpha would be proud, arrogant, self-righteous, with a strange combination of three more words, shame, guilt, fear. I was raised in an uh, impoverished home with a dad who was alcoholic. And however, it was those circumstances that led me to receiving um, Jesus Christ as the Lord of my life when I was 17 years old. I married my husband, Fino, seven years later in a traditional Hindu um, wedding. I fell head over heels in love with him. So as I was fast approaching my 40s, there became a yearning for a deeper spirituality. I started to read a lot of self-help books, books by like great philosophers and mind control experts. I didn't realize that that was doing me so much harm because it was actually taking me away from Christianity and uh, made me start questioning the Bible. And that is when I started practicing New Age religion. I was working at a company for almost 20 years and I started misappropriating funds. I was caught out and I was given a 10-year sentence of direct imprisonment. So I went to prison in the year 2014, November of 2014, and life in prison was difficult. It was challenging. The biggest concern for me was the hygiene. I was quite a, a, a clean freak. Um, everyone that knows me knows that yeah, I, I'm a clean freak. So that was my biggest challenge, the hygiene in the place. And the other challenge was that it was overcrowded and full of women that were still very angry, still very bitter, devious and malicious. So there, was, there were always challenges. I was afraid. I was very afraid. I just didn't know what the next day would hold for me. I was suicidal. I felt a lot of guilt and shame. I felt very hurt for the pain that I caused my family. That was my, the biggest thing for me, is that I'd hurt my family. I couldn't look at myself in the mirror. I started feeling very suicidal. I was almost on the verge of suicide when somebody saved me. I could say it was a miracle. I was alone in my cell and I knew what I was going to do to end it all because I could not face another day with everything that was going on. It so happened that a, a certain spiritual care person was appointed to the prison at that very time and she happened to know someone that I, I had known and she came looking for me and she asked for me and while I was still in tears um, I heard someone call for me and when I went out I met this lady named Grace and she introduced herself to me all she asked me was how are you doing and I just burst out in tears. I could not explain anything. So she held me in her arms very tightly and she started to pray for me. She prayed this very, very earnest prayer. And in that moment, my life changed. I don't know what happened. Something within me just stirred. I felt this peace. Something that I've never felt before. So that, that was a big change for me. I was attending Bible studies, but while I was doing Bible studies, I always had questions. I always found fault in the Bible because I was always looking for logic and reasoning. And nothing made sense to me at the time because I think because I was still depressed, I felt challenged and I blamed myself for a lot of things that went wrong in my life. I blamed God. I was angry with God for letting those things happen to me. In the third year of my incarceration, it was July of that year, 
that a program called Kairos was introduced to the prison. I found that the, my, the biggest problem I had was that I couldn't forgive myself. And I learned the, that me saying that I couldn't forgive myself was declaring that I was bigger than God. And in those processes that happened during Kairos, I found forgiveness in God. I sought forgiveness, I found forgiveness, and I knew then that I was forgiven and that I could forgive myself. It was two months later, by no coincidence at all, now that I look at it, that Alpha was introduced to the prison for the very first time and I was one of those that were chosen to attend. And during my Alpha experience, I experienced the Bible, the Word of God, in a totally different way, from a totally different perspective. I learned that the Bible was the living Word of God, that the Word of God is divinely inspired. There were also people that were very much like I was, very much in the same position that I was once upon a time. And their lives had transformed and they had new hope. And that spoke to me a lot. One of the members from our small group pointed out that too much of analysis leads to paralysis. And that's when I realized that I was heading for paralysis if I didn't invite the Holy Spirit into my life. So it was then and there that I asked for the Holy Spirit to come into my life. We prayed and I started speaking in tongues and I felt so overwhelmed with this experience that I've never had before. Um, it's something that I cannot describe, but it's something that I've never felt before. At the end of 2019, I was released from prison for good behavior. After my release, I came back home to my husband and my daughters. And at that time, they were still Hindu. I was Christian. There were times when I would get up in the middle of the night and I would just burst out crying for no reason absolutely no reason. I didn't know why I was crying, but I'd just be sobbing in the middle of the night. And that took almost a year to get, to get through. But in all that time, my husband was very, very supportive. He said that he would support me the whole way, in whichever way I wanted, he was going to be my support. And I'm so grateful to God for that because I almost lost him to COVID at the time. He was in hospital for two months and we didn't think he was going to come back home. So God was so faithful, he was really so faithful. I had given up and, and I had actually prayed the one day and I said, Lord, I'm not going to ask you to make him better. You do what you think you need to do for him. And it was a miracle that he came out alive. Post lockdown, I accompanied my daughter to the Alpha course. It was at that time that I experienced Alpha from a totally, in, in a totally different way. At that time, I realized the breakthrough that I had through Alpha. It was a confirmation of the breakthrough that I had and why my faith had become so strong. In all those experiences I've learned that I can trust the Lord with all my heart. My husband and I attend church every Sunday. We belong to Red Point Church in Pine Town. He absolutely loves coming to church, but he, he is still on a journey, which I know the Lord is going to, to make good. Red Point Church is a place where you meet people that are so friendly, so loving, so kind. I love that the young people are so on fire for the Lord. Um, I just, I mean, I, I look at them and it just inspires me so much to know that, you know, uh, people who could be doing anything else in the world, but, you know, have such love for God and that is, that is something that is amazing for me.